Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. You'll never get away with this, Dr. Block. Oh no! I would already gone away with it! And I will not rest until the entire population of the greater Houston area is covered in stains. And these are not ordinary stains. These are stains that don't come out! <laughs> get him, Mr. O! Get him, Mr. O! Yes, come get some hot grape juice stains! No! Wow, that's cool. Yeah! How'd you do that? Simple. My clothes have nano whiskers. What are whiskers? Wait, I know part of what you said. Nano. I remember from your molecular gastronomy episode that you said nano is something really, really, really small. Yeah, I remember. If you put a million lines between two millimeter lines, that's a nanometer. A billionth of a meter. So you must be talking about structures that are only billionths of a meter long. That's right. So nano whiskers are very tiny particles that are attached to all the cotton fibers and clothes. Wait, so how can something that small stop a stain from my stenerator ray? Well, you may remember from previous episodes that water likes to stick to things, including itself. So for example, if I put water on your hand. Hey, that gets my hand wet. Precisely. On a flat surface, water droplets can touch a larger area, so it sticks to the surface much like water being absorbed into a cotton fiber. But with nano whiskers, there are lots of very, very tiny little points like these kids' fingers that prevent the water from really touching the surface. So it just sticks to itself, forming a bead of water on the surface that will just roll off. Let me show it to you a different way. Nano whiskers, like many inventions, are inspired by things found in nature. So today, we're gonna test some leaves from nature, commonly found in a grocery store. So here we have some collard greens and lettuce. We're putting some drops of water onto each leaf and watching what happens. You can try some of the other leaves from the grocery store at home, like spinach, kale, turnip leaves, and more. It looks like the water spreads out and sticks to the lettuce leaf, but beads up on the surface of the collard greens. So, many leaves found in nature, including collard greens, have very tiny nanometer-sized waxy bumps all over their surface, which keeps the water from sticking. Ooh, I get it! So, the waxy bumps keep the water from touching the surface of the leaf, just like your nano whiskers keep my stains from sticking to your shirt! Exactly! Now you get it! Speaking of which, prepare to eat leafy green just as vile stains! Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Actually, it's a stain. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>